Welcome back. I'd like to uh, again w um, welcome you to Classics 395, uh, Greek Myth, uh, Gods, Heroes, and Humans. Again, I'm Professor Nicholas Sterling, teaching for University of Rhode Island, and I'd like to thank you very much for providing that introductory note um, on the forum. I will be happy to look it over and get to know you a little bit better. So now that you've been to Sakai, I'd like to introduce you to its layout, and it's important for you to follow the layout closely because um, the information there is going to guide you for uh, how to complete the various assignments, complete all the readings, uh, get through the exams, and be able to um, satisfy the course requirements and, and eventually uh, hopefully come away with a really good grade, which is what we obviously want for you uh, to make this a worthwhile experience. So I'd like you first to please pause your video and open or reopen Sakai, and please go to the calendar. The calendar is what will tell you the days in which the course meets, and it's important for you to follow that and be aware of that so that you'll know when assignments are to be submitted on time. So please now pause your video and locate the calendar on your Sakai workshop. Okay, do you have a calendar open? Okay, very good. So please look through the calendar. You'll, you'll need to review this um, after the, you, you have completed watching this video. And be aware, again, on the calendar of the days, the dates, when um, the course sessions are, because those dates are also when assignments are due. So the calendar itself provides you a list of the YouTube video links um, that are also provided separately, as we'll talk about in a minute. Um, the, the, that, that's these videos that I'm doing uh, to uh, provide you the information you need for the course uh, that way. So the YouTube video links are provided there. And then there's an outline for each of the uh, sessions uh, related to the uh, course material for that day, the readings that you did, uh, the, the other subjects that are pertinent, uh, the background on um, ancient uh, Greek um, history, and so forth. All of that is provided for each, each of the individual sessions on the calendar. So be sure that you see that. And again, be sure that you're aware from, the, from the, the calendar and also from the forums and from the syllabus, the dates when various items are due. It's really important that you follow those because uh, anything that is, a, that is submitted late uh, will cost you points on your final grade. So it's very important to be timely to get your assignments in on time. If any difficulties come up with that, of course, you can email me and I'll try to assist you as necessary. But be aware that assignments are expected to be uh, submitted on time and that that, 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 that that is part of the grade. When you look at the grade, we'll talk about grading in a later video, but when you look at the grading uh, set up for, uh, on syllabus, you'll see um, where it says 20% is um, uh, performance and your assignments. And part of that uh, Twenty percent has to do with whether you you are in fact submitting things on time, and that's why you have to follow things carefully on the calendar. The calendar also has for each session the documents attached to to each of those that are relevant for that particular date. So also check those carefully, um, and, and again compare those with the syllabus to be sure that everything uh, makes sense, and uh, that you know uh, everything that that you need for reading through. Uh, for learning the course material and then completing the assignments properly. So again, follow that for each day of the calendar. Resources is there for uh, the, the handouts. Uh, there are um, uh, five of them all together for this course uh, related to uh, the three tragedians, Aeschylus, Sophocles, and Euripides, and the two Roman playwrights, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, 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 epic poets, excuse me, Virgil and Ovid. Those um, uh, documents are there. Uh, to um, give you some additional information. There will also be a, a brief period when the exams show up there, and I want to um, spend a moment uh, describing that. This will, this will also come up in the later videos about the exams. The midterm exam and the final exam, just slightly before they are due, a couple of days before they're due, will appear in resources, but only for a couple of days. And then... Um, when um, they are there, you have to be sure to get them in time before the due date and then uh, complete the exam and get it back into me by the due date. The main thing about the, these exams is that after the due date of the exam, then they disappear out of resources and you can't get them. And if you go late trying to locate the exam, you'll wonder where it is and you'll be emailing me saying, I tried to find the exam and could not find it. Don't not get yourself in that predicament. The reason why you can't find it is because you were late looking for it. So be sure that you do go to resources at the, in, the, in the period uh, right before the exam is due and find the exam. 
I'll give you uh, as much space as possible, um, pr probably as much as a week, uh, to get, get, get the materials to you for the exams. But be sure that you don't miss getting the exam out of resources when it's available, because if you do, then you'll have to get it from me manually, and of course you will lose points because the exam will be submitted late. Okay, so that's where res what, what resources is all about. Assignments are the um, any documents related to anything you have to complete. And actually, for this course, there's only one thing in assignments because the rest of your assignments are all located in your textbook. And we will be talking about textbooks in a later video after we talk about syllabus. But uh, the, the one about the presentations that you need to complete for uh, Aeschylus, Sophocles, and Euripides, that's what you have for assignments. So that document is there. That document is also attached to the calendar and is also attached to the forums. So you can find, find it there as well. All right, now here's a big thing, forums. Each of the forums listed has a date with it, and the date tells you the due date when its assignment must be submitted there on the forum. Again, be sure to, uh, uh, to abide by the due date and get everything there on the forum on time so that you do not incur any late deductions. What you're putting on the forums are the, are the individual assignments, the daily assignments that have to be completed. And usually those are the discussion questions and the chapters of your Harris Plaster textbook coming up in a later video. And then <clears throat> also there are the uh, presentations to do for Aeschylus and Sophocles and the debate trial uh, presentation to do for uh, Medea. Those also will be provided there on the forums. There are two things that you're doing. There you go, two things for the forums. One is to complete your own entry. That's the one that has to be completed and submitted on time in order to avoid a late deduction. The second thing that you must do is the thing you need to do in order to get attendance credit. That goes back to that 20% that we mentioned on the syllabus. The uh, attendance credit comes from what are called here student responses, which means that after you submit your own entry on the forum, you also submit a response to some other student's entry. And that is mandatory each week. You must do at least one, and we hope that you do more than one, for each of, uh, of the, of the, of the uh, sessions uh, when the, the course meets, which might be week by week or day by day, depending on which, which uh, semester you're taking this course. But be sure that you do that. If you miss doing a student response, you will be uh, docked an, at uh, an attendance piece because you'll be considered to have been absent for the day that you don't submit a student response even if you get the the form assignment in and even if you get it in on time you still have to get the student response in as well to get the attendance credit for that particular session i will give a, a little bit of, of time after the due date to do the student response because you may need, want to wait a little bit until you see what other responses uh, are, are provided uh, on the form before you choose the one that you want to respond to or the ones so that's fine i'll give you that leeway but you do need to get the, the each response in each week, at least one, and preferably more than one, so that you um, you get the attendance credit. So that's how that will be counted, and we'll we'll, we'll talk about it again later in a in the video regarding grading. Okay, messages are for contacting me <clears throat> if you have any um, anything you need to, to uh, tell me. Um, please, if you do send me a message on Sakai, that you also check off the box that forwards the message to my email. If you only put it on Sakai, I could miss it because I don't always check the messages there on Sakai, but I much more frequently check my email address. So check the box off there, and then I'll be um, sure to, to, to receive the message in my email, and I'll be much more likely to see it and respond to you promptly as needed. Okay, so that's messages. And also, of course, I will also be sending messages as well uh, through Sakai. And make sure, do please check to, that you are receiving those messages uh, from me when I send them because it, it, you, uh, important information comes from them and you need to um, uh, double check that you're receiving them. Okay, Dropbox. The only things that should be submitted on the, in the Dropboxes are your midterm, your final, and any extra credit that you decide you'd like to do. So all other assignments should be put in the daily uh, forums. And when you do the, the, those assignments, by the way, in the forums, put your, the text in directly into the forum as a post. Please do not attach documents of any type because other students or my, I myself may not be able to, to open them. So be sure to put the, uh, your entries directly in the forums as text into, into the, the entry. The Dropbox, on the other hand, is where you, you submit your midterm and your final, only those, no other assignments, and your extra credit project. And at no point, please, 
email me anything in the way of assignments unless you have some very critical reason like your Dropbox isn't working and you really need to email it to me you could try that if it's the midterm or final you could actually put the midterm and final on the forum that would also be, be perfectly fine but again make sure that, that you use these assignments and uh, midterm and final and please keep those separate and again please do not email me anything unless there's a crisis because um, I, I, I have a tendency sometimes to lose assignments by, that are submitted to me by emails and we don't want that to happen to you so that's what the drop boxes are for okay the YouTube video links we already mentioned are the lists of the of the YouTube videos uh, uh, through that throughout the course uh, that you'll be watching these videos are from me um, and then the syllabus is where you can find another copy of the syllabus if you need it. Uh, it the syllabus can also be found uh, also attached to the calendar and uh, also in uh, resources. So all of those are available. If you need a copy from me for any reason, of course, you're always welcome to, to uh, email me and get that from me. The last link uh, on Takai is the idea survey. This is the one that's pro uh, provided by the university and there'll be an email coming out to tell you when it's time to fill it out. When, when that comes, please do fill it out. It's very important feedback for both the university and for me, the professor, uh, to see if there's anything about the uh, course that needs fine tuning. Or on the positive side, if you want to tell me that it was a great course and that I did a really great job teaching it, that's, of course, also perfectly welcome. So please do uh, fill that out when that does come. Um, I'll send out an, an email myself at the, at the right time to remind you uh, to get that in. And then finally, I have a survey of my own that appears briefly when the final exam comes up under resources. The end of class survey will show up in resources. And when that shows up, please also fill, uh, fill that out and submit that, that into your Dropbox. That goes just to me um, for any information you'd like to give to me. But the idea survey is the one that the university needs. And again, we'd like to get as high a response as possible from that so that we get good information about how the course went. Okay, so please be sure that you're familiar with all these things on Takai and how to, to, to uh, complete the um, assignments appropriately, which we'll also cover a little bit in the next video about syllabus. If you have questions along the way, of course, you can always email me or text me or call me, and I will help you out as much as possible. Okay, so thank you so much for sticking through this, and our next video will cover the syllabus. Please come on back uh, quickly for the next video. We'll see you.